Hey guys, we're the Good Kids. I'm Bernie. I'm Gabby. And we're a hip hop duo. I do the beat making and some of the production. And Gabby here. Rapping, bro. Yes, sir. He's a rapper. And so we met in like second year high school through a mutual friend, um, Mateo Chrysostomo. He hooked us up. And we've been making music together since. Yes, sir. Um, so, Gabby, what kind of beats do you usually like me making? Well, I like all Bernie's beats. He's a very good producer. But I super love when he makes like jazz, Z, funk, Z, Z, hip hop type of beats. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I make hip hop beats, so it makes sense. I, I like I like making a lot of kinds of beats. I like the jazz. I like the funk. I like R and B. I really like um, a lot of the hip hop and R and B scene out there. Um, Gabby, what do you like? What do you like? What flows and lyrics do you? enjoy writing about oh i enjoy writing about life experiences in general and i super try to copy the flows of like j cole gold link mac miller i really love their cadences so whenever i can i try to get a little piece out of their book when it comes to rap so we previously asked our fans to give us some ideas topics whatever just some inspiration for our beats and lyrics in this um song making today and we chose a couple comments. Gabby, could you read them out? Okay, so shout out to Marion Santos um, and also to Shannon for commenting. And the comment we chose is by Marion. And then she said, Here, Bernie producing an R&B jazz type of beat and Gabby freestyling about his moments in quarantine. So usually in our song making process, I make the beat first off the idea or the peg. So for now, Gabby won't be with us. I'll be making the beat. But later, I'll send the beat to him and you get to see his, home, uh, his lyric writing process. Yes, sir. Adios, fam. See you later. All right. So we're going to make a jazzy R&B type beat. Let's open up my logic. Um, and then I'm going to get from my template, my default templates right here. I use it for most of my projects. And so it's a jazzy R&B type of beat. So I think I'm going to make the BPM a bit slower. I actually have an app on my phone um, here. I use it for tapping the tempo. So let me just tap it out. Okay, so I got around 90. Okay, so I think that's about right for a slow, jazzy R&B type beat. And then I'm going to do some chords now. Um, let me create a MIDI track. And so for an R&B type of beat, yeah, the first thing I'd start with is chords, because if you want to get, if you really want to get that R&B neo soul feel, you really have to use those chords. I think other genres sometimes it depends on like the drum groove or the syncopation that gives the feel for the genre. But for R&B, it's really all about the chords. So I'm gonna do some basic R&B chords here. Uh, nothing fancy. Um, yeah. Just draw it out. I actually have them in mind already. Um, but I have some experience with this genre, a lot of experience with this genre, so it's not too hard for me to get chords for this. If you want practice though, I recommend, um, yeah, I recommend just recreating songs you like. That's probably the best way to get better. Yeah, just practice. Switch that up. Bring this one up. Try that. Now, yep. Then I think it should go back down a bit. Yep. Sounds about right. up
So now I'm gonna just try to make it sound thicker, add layers, really it's the same MIDI notes, but I'm just gonna make it a bit fatter sounding. notes just so it's a bit clearer. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I like the sound of that. Next, um, I'm gonna add some bass. So, for this one, I think I'm going to use this bass patch. Okay. So. Thank you. 
like that. I think that's a pretty good baseline. So I'm gonna make it a bit thicker, more layers basically. Pitch this down one octave. I think it needs a bit more sub, so I'll do this sub patch. chords down, I have the bass down, now I need some drums just to get the groove going. And the way I like to do my drums is really I beatbox first. So I, I play, play the loop and I just beatbox over it until I figure something out. R&B-ish, the bass line is like in between R&B and jazz, but I think to make it more of a jazzy R&B beat and not just an R&B beat, I gotta make the drums really jazzy. So I think I'm gonna stick with some swing drums. So I'll, I'll beatbox it for you guys. have what seems like a good drum pattern in mind so I just have to put it into MIDI and there you go um, so yeah I think that that swing feel the late hi-hat really adds to the groove makes it much more uh, jazzy yeah I think I like this kick where this track Now I just have to create the MIDI pattern. extra groove I'm gonna actually put the kick a little bit forward because that's what I'm hearing in my head um, so I just have to go here and put a negative delay so negative 15 let's try that try here Maybe a little bit more. 
next, put some snare in. Nothing fancy with a snare here. And so, when you're doing your drums, I recommend if you really want to sound professional at least, or sound full and rich, layer your snares, layer your sounds, really makes it, gives it that depth. So that's one layer, I like the sound. Stop it there. Okay. This time I'm going to delay it a bit forward. Uh, now the hi hats. And usually with my hi hats, I actually use the stock logic sounds for this. If I'm going for like an acoustic vibe rather than a trap vibe, I actually use the stock sounds a lot. I find that they actually sound pretty good. swing just a bit more. Um, so let me just adjust this. Yeah, I like the drums now. Um, I have drums, I have 
basic drums, I have some basic chords and bass. And usually in this stage of the process, since I already have a rough idea, if um, if I feel like it, and if I think I need need to ask um, Gabby about the beat, I usually do. So I'm gonna actually call him on FaceTime now. I'll show you guys what I usually do. I'll, fa I'll FaceTime him. <laughs> 